Please join in prayer for the sick and the homebound and those on our parish prayer list. Father of goodness and love, hear our prayers for the sick members of our community and for all who are in need. Amid mental and physical suffering, may they find consolation in your healing presence. Show your mercy as you close wounds, cure illnesses, make broken bodies whole, and free downcast spirits. May these special people find lasting health and deliverance, and so join us in thanking you for all your gifts. We ask this through the Lord Jesus, who healed all who believe. Amen. The entrance antiphon. <laughs> okay. Sing praise to our God, all you who fear God, both small and great, for now salvation and strength have come, and the power of his Christ. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, Today we pray especially for, this is Aaron Miller, and this is Edida Margarita Giron de Castillo. At the beginning of this Holy Eucharist, let us acknowledge our sins, let us ask for God's forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that I have, I have greatly sinned sin. in, my in my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, and in my words in what, what I have done, done and what, what I have failed, failed to do. Through my, through my fault, fault through my fault, fault through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed, blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for me to the, the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, grant your people constancy in faith and hope that we may never doubt the promises of which we have learned from you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, some Jews from Antioch and Iconium arrived and won over the crowds. They stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. But when the disciples gathered around him, he got up and entered the city. On the following day, he left with Barnabas for Derby. After they had proclaimed the good news to that city and made a considerable number of disciples, they returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch. They strengthened the spirits of the disciples and exhorted them to persevere in the faith, saying, it is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. They appointed presbyters for them in each church and with prayer and fasting commended them to the Lord in whom they put their faith. Then they traveled through Pisidia and reached Pamphylia. 
After proclaiming the word at Perga, they went down to Italia, and from there they sailed to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now accomplished. And when they arrived, they called the church together and reported what God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. Then they spent no little time with the disciples. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glories of your kingdom. May my mouth speak the praise of the Lord, and may all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to john glory, glory to you o lord. lord jesus said to his disciples peace i leave with you my peace i give to you not as the world gives do i give it to you do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid you heard me tell you I am going away, and I will come back to you if you loved me. You would rejoice that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe. I will no longer speak much with you, for the ruler of the world is coming. He has no power over me, but the world must know that I love the Father, and that I do just as the Father has commanded me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. In today's Gospel, Jesus speaks of his gift, and his gift, and his gift is peace. The Hebrew word for peace is shalom. Shalom never meant simply the absence of trouble. It means everything which makes for our highest good. The peace which is, the world offers us is the peace of escape, the peace which comes from the avoidance of trouble and from refusing to face things. The peace which Jesus offers us is the peace of conquest. No experience of life can ever take it from us, and no sorrow, no danger, no suffering can ever make it less. It is independent of external circumstances. Jesus then speaks of his destination. He is going back to his Father, and he says that if his disciples really loved him, they would be glad that it was so. 
He was being released from the limitations of this world. He was being restored to his glory. If we really grasped the truth of the Christian faith, we would always be glad when those whom we love go to be with God. That is not to say that we would not feel the sting of sorrow for our loneliness. We would be glad that after the trials and tribulations of earth, those whom we loved have gone to something better. We would never grudge them their rest, but would remember that they had emerged not into death, but into blessedness. Jesus also speaks of his struggle. The cross was the final battle of Jesus with the powers of the world, but he was not afraid of it, for he knew that the ruler of the world, the evil one, had no ultimate power over him. He went to his death in cert the certainty, not of defeat, but of conquest. Lastly, Jesus speaks of his vindication. At the time, people saw in the cross only his humiliation and his shame. But the time would come when they would see in it his obedience to God and his love for men and women. The very things which were the keynotes of Jesus' life found their highest expression in the cross. So today, do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. Yes, Jesus suffered and died on the cross, but as he promised, he came back to us in his glorious resurrection. And 40 days after his resurrection, he ascended into heaven, where he sits at the right hand of the Father. Amen. Remembering that God knows the deepest needs of our hearts, we humbly offer these petitions. For the church, may the Lord fortify and sustain her in, his, in her prophetic witness to the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For government officials, May God guide them towards wisdom and justice, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those suffering from depression or anxiety, may God provide them with healing and comfort in their time of need, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all the faithful gathered here today, may God help us to bear one another's burdens with patience and courage, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For peace in the world, for peace in the Ukraine during this very troubled time, for an end to all persecution, violence, and aggression, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, may God grant eternal rest upon their souls, we pray to the Lord. And for all the prayers and intentions that we've placed in our prayer book, and for all the prayers and intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayer. Gracious God, we entrust these prayers to you and ask that you answer them according to your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. 
fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. The humble spirit and contrite heart may be accepted by you, Lord, my sacrifice in your sight this day, be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such, such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your dead, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his dead and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humble we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This morning, the body and blood of Jesus Christ. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to should enter the world, but all my sins are the world. Communion Antiphon. If we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with. Alleluia.
my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible, incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Eucharistic minister, please come forward. You are sent from this assembly to bring the word of God and the bread of life to the sick and the humbled members of our parish family. Go with our love, our care, and our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and gentle healer. The Lord be with you. 
May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name, with you alone to guide us. Make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. O salutari sostia, et celipani sostium, bella premun hostilia, dorobur fer axidium, unitrino, Semper na gloria, vivitam sin termino, nobis donet in patria.